After I disclosed, I was asked loads of blunt questions, and they seemed angry with me for not disclosing in the way they wanted me to. It's more about paperwork and box ticking. They expected me to describe what had physically happened. They demanded information from me. Why did they need to know? I felt used and I felt embarrassed knowing they knew that stuff about me. They made me feel like they just wanted a name so they could report it to the police and not have to deal with me anymore. When the police said there was no further action, my school acted like none of it had happened. For them it was all over, but it wasn't for me. I felt let down by the police and school. Nothing I did was enough. I wish the school had asked me what I wanted and how I wanted things handled instead of telling me what to do. It is important to remember that sharing a disclosure with anyone in any way takes an enormous amount of courage. Treating young people who make a disclosure with dignity and respect means they are better able to access appropriate support going forward and it helps ensure that all members of the school community are safeguarded. Work on the principle of no decision about me without me. Keep survivors informed of what is happening and as far as possible, ask for their input in decisions. Always respect confidentiality and only share information when it is absolutely necessary. Use the guidance provided in part five of keeping children safe in education to manage disclosures of child-on-child -child sexual abuse. Seek advice and support from specialist organisations and make contact with the Children's Independent Sexual Violence Advisors in your area.